What's up everybody? Doing another video that always seems to get me at least a little bit of internet hate. We are doing another cage upgrade. And in fact, this is going to be the final topper of my stack that is my Pichuofa stack. So the bulls, pines, uh, gopher snakes. And so this last one is actually going to be citrus. Citrus is our oldest snake as far as we know. Um, I know I did a standalone video about her, but I actually went through and truly calculated out how old she was, if I am to believe the person we got her from. So from, and I honestly, I do not remember what I said in her standalone video, so I do apologize to all the people that watched that. But if I am to believe that she was 14 years old, sorry, Citrus, uh, if she was 14 years old when we got her, she is 18 years old this year. So she is our oldest known animal. We have um, actually in part of the SPI study that I'm a part of, I had to go through and like recount down a lot of the animals that are in uh, that study. And as it turns out, we have a lot of ball pythons that are over 10 years old um, and quite a few other animals that are into now their teens and such as well, as well as several animals that we got as adults that we just have no idea how old they are. But the known age, again, if to believed, she is 18 years old. Citrus, the albino San Diego gopher snake. I don't believe that she is an Applegate albino um, based on her coloration, but who knows. So Citrus here um, was a pet of a guy in the Denver area, and eventually he moved off to college, and his dad took over, and eventually he was moving out of his place, and so we ended up with Citrus here. Citrus is now moving into here. We'll zoom it out and you see my awesome reflection right there. Um, this is a four by two by 18. This is one of my old melamine cages. We purchased like, I think six, six or eight of these from a guy who was breeding uh, bearded dragons way back in the day. And I have repurposed these things probably half a dozen times each over and over again. Um, they didn't have sides. They had those like little ports over there that were drilled in and they had like a bar for an LED light um, and then a halogen light and then an, a UVB light is how they had it set up. And it was on um, just newspaper or carpet. And so it was really, really basic. These are melamine cages. These are not meant to last. I have replaced panels on basically every single one of them. Um, I am slowly replacing these with other either like dubia zen type cages or other ones as well um we've added on stuff like you know this is like that shower board that like kind of weird like plastic particle board type thing because this was open you could freely slide it open so snakes or any smaller animal could very easily get out of here but melamine you know it eventually starts to stain um like i just wiped this down to try to make it like look pretty for you guys because we all know that if i ever put up a dirty cage for a youtube video i'm gonna get yelled at um, but anyway, so this is our oldest girl. She was housed in a 20 gallon tank for the first, uh, over 10 years of her life. We got her, we put her into a 40, then we put her into a 74 quart rack. And so I figured now she can spend the rest of her time with us in definitely a larger cage. Honestly, I think four feet long is a minimum for most pitchwofus. And that's what she was in. She was in a four foot long tub, but I want to put her into a cage. Um, and again, I know that I will always get flack no matter what I do um, for setups, but I think this is okay. It's not truly bioactive, but we have um, really nice thick uh, substrate of cypress mulch. I have to be careful not to dump too much humidity into here because, you know, it's melamine. Eh. Big water dish hide that she had in her 20-gallon tank. So that took up a lot of uh, real estate in that 20-gallon, as well as that like little aquarium, little fake plant rock thing that was also in her 20-gallon. Um, we have this really cool Christmas um, greenish one, which is always a whole thing about finding, um, evergreen type, uh, artificial plants that aren't either scented or paper or that like weird, like glitter type thing, which is icky. So we finally, we found a bunch of those reeds. So I bought like six of those that are, you've seen, and I think I was in my Russian rat snake cage is probably the last time you saw these guys. Um, we have another hide there, hide back in the back that they can easily get behind cork bark tube. So plenty of places for her to get into just a little UVB light. Um, and then obviously most of my colubrids are kept at some version of room temp. Obviously the cooler weather ones are in the gecko room. And so citrus being the San Diego gopher who can take the warmest temps. She is at the top, um, up here to where, you know, heat rises, but again, she's on ambient. So just with that one little 
uh, light over there is really all she needs. But again, during the hottest parts of the day, as well as the fact that that is the Aussie stack right next to that. And then yes, all of this will definitely just, that's the cat food for the skinks. Um, all of this will be in the uh, Reptile Ranch tour, which yes, I am working on. Um, it's been really windy and really snowy and kind of icky here as well as still doing a lot of odds and ends. Haven't forgotten about that. I do really appreciate all you guys. I will fulfill my promises on that. So th it, this is definitely the warmer side. Sorry to uh, get away from that little thing. Um, so this is definitely going to be the warmer side of the enclosure for her because heat will resonate off of that. So she will spend her time basking over here under the little light as well as the warmer side of Seashow Chooses. So just this fun little cage, just keeping everyone up to date on all of the things. Um, I know that if I had a perfect world, she'd be in a, like a five or a six foot enclosure. Um, and she would have a deep area for her to actually go down and get underneath, like essentially putting in like a sub floor or like a tub that could be entirely buried down for her to get down and underneath. Um, but that takes up a lot of real estate for her in this little cage. So I think this as far as kind of like a minimum pet setup that people could emulate to some degree not saying this is the only way, as I would hopefully I've made myself pretty clear about that, that if you decided you want to choose to do something similar to this, I think this is a decent setup for um, a San Diego gopher snake who is, she's absolutely just a wonderful little animal. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, as well as not only getting a little bit of an update for me, seeing Citrus, this really cool girl, our old lady who's just an absolutely amazing sweetheart, um, part of a really great group of uh, pet reptiles. And stay tuned for more reptile content. If you want to check out the whole playlist of other upgraded um, videos that I've done on different enclosures, if you want to get different ideas, um, see how hopefully that I've improved over the last several years, uh, you can check that out as well. I'll put it right here at the end. Um, please like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Hope everyone is having a great day and we will check you next time.